um, do the same, okay? Are you ready, Gina? Are you ready, Angela? Are you ready, Spring? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to take a drink. <sighs> Sick by Shel Silverstein. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've counted sixteen chicken pox. And there's one more, that's seventeen. And don't you fe think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. It might be instamatic flu. I cough <coughs> and sneeze too, and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin, my belly button's caving in. My back is winched, my ankle's sprained, my appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my thumbs, my toes are numb. I have a sliver in my thumb. I hardly whisper when I speak. My neck is stiff. M my voice is weak. My tongue, my tongue is filling up my mouth. I think, I think my hair is falling out. My elbow's bent. My spine ain't straight. My temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk, I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my he ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is what? What's that? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye, I'm going out to play. So that was the poem, okay? Um, now, I'm going to get each of you to have a go, okay? So I that was me um, reading the poem out and trying to perform the poem. So what I'm going to do is I'll get the poem um, up for you, okay? So Tina, do you understand what you have to do? So thumbs up, thumbs up if you understand. Yeah, thumb up. Okay, so Spring and Angela, you'll, you'll need to turn your cameras on as well so that I can see you perform the poem. Okay. So can you turn your um your, the cameras on so that I can so that we can do this poem together and see how we do? So I'm going to share. I'm so sorry, my camera has been broken. Okay, so Angela, your camera's broken. Is there no? Have you not got anything else that you could use, like a laptop or a phone? Yes, my laptop is my camera. Laptop it has broken. Okay. All right, so unfortunately, I'll not be able to see you perform it. What about Spring? Spring, could you fix your camera so that I can actually see you? So could you, could you, um, could yes. you? Maybe, yes. Huh? Okay, so, so go to your, see where it okay. says, see where you see the, the camera? Go to the arrow and uh, choose background and change it so that I can see you. And turn your camera on. Yep, I can see you. Right, okay. So I'm going to share my screen and I want to see you um, read this poem to me. So let me just get the sick. Okay. Now. Uh, so who would like... Who would like to go first then? So Tina, would you like to go first? Yes. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy and McKay. I have the measles and the mumps 
a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've got a 16 chicken pox. And there's one more. That's 17. And don't you turn my face looks green. My leg is cut. My eyes are blue. It might be instamatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button caving in. My back. My back is dented. My ankle is sprained. My panties pains. It sham it rains. My nose is cold. My toes are numb. I have a silver in my thumb. My neck is stiff. My voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow bent. My spine ain't straight. My temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk. I cannot hear. There's a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail. And my heart is... What? What's that? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday. Goodbye. I'm going out to play. Okay. So you read that well, but um, obviously, you know, I would have liked to have you perform it. Now, this poem is actually, actually teaches you a, an important life lesson because it's, um, the you know, the narrator, um, the, sh the, the child didn't expect it to be Saturday. And do you see how there is a complete um, uh, 180 degree um, change of perspective at the end of the poem? When the child finds out it's Saturday, because what what what's the child trying to do at the start of the poem? What 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 um so, is the child not trying to find any excuse he can come up with he or she can come up with, to not go to school? Yeah. So, okay. So spring now spring, I've read it. Tina has read it. Can you read it? But also Tina or spring. You know. A little, some hand gestures is okay, you know, especially when they, you know, when it comes, you know, when the poem where it says your hair is about to fall out, it's okay to like to act it. So as, don't be don't be afraid. Okay, spring. So are you going to unmute yourself and then, um, uh, read the poem for me? Okay. I cannot go to school today. Say little Peggy and Mickey. I have the measles and the mumps, a gas, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry, I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as thick as rock. I have counted 16 chicken pox, and there's one more that's 17. And don't you think my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. It might be in some flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button is caving in. My back is wrenched. My ankles sprained. My appendix pains each time. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold. My tongue's are numb. I have a school liver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. 
my elbow then my spine is straight my temperature is 108 my brain is strong i cannot hear there is the hole inside my ear oh, there is the hole inside my ear i have a hand new and my heart is what what's that what's that you say say today is saturday goodbye i'm going out to play yeah <sighs> Well done, um, Spring, and also I did, I picked up on some of the hand gestures there. Uh, well done for um, bringing, you know, I cannot hear, you went like that, and you, you know, you touched your hair, so well done with the acting. Don't be afraid. Okay, so, um, to, uh, well done. Okay, so, Angela, I'm going to let you read the poem. I know I won't be able to see you, but you can certainly read the poem to us, okay? So let let me just get back up to the start of the poem for you, Angela. And Angela, um, try to make it as dramatic as possible. Angela, make it dramatic. You know, don't be afraid. We're not here to judge, really. We're here to you know encourage you. So don't be afraid to be to get you know, you know, to put a little bit of drama, you know, um, you know, to ch change your tone of voice, etc. Uh, rather than being yeah. monotonous. Okay. Big by sale, silver thing. I cannot go to school today, said little Becky and MK. I have the missile and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth my mouth's wet, my throat is dry, I'm going blind in my right eye. My toes are as big as rocks. I count 16 chicken box, and this one more, that's 17. And don't you think my face, my face looks green? My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. It might be, it's the magnetic blue. I, I cough, and sneeze, and gash, and choke. I show that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly buttons caving in. My back is wrenched. My ankles sprained. My Pen, my pen is pain each, each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb. I have a silver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak. I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbow bent, my spine ain't strained. My temperature is 108. My brain is shrunk. I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hang now, and my heart is what? What's that? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday. Goodbye. I'm going out to play. Okay. So thank you very much, students, for reading the poem out to me. Um. So obviously, I actually I'm going to vote. I'm going to I'm going to say that you all did a good job reading the poem, um, but in terms I think spring is the winner because because not because of the the not because all of you did, you know you all did a good job spring did a bit of acting. Okay, so spring wins because she did a bit of acting and so well done spring. Give, give Spring a, 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 a clap for Spring. <laughs> she won. Okay, well done, Spring. Uh, you win. Uh, and keep up the acting. You'll make a good actor. Okay, now, actually, we're going to... I'll let you watch one more video, okay, before we move on and finish off our document. So, um, Angela, I'm going to get you to pick a video. So, we'll, we'll watch one more, just so you get uh, clear in your head about this acting. Okay, so um, let's see. So Angela, can you hear me? Yes. I want you to choose a uh, a video. Okay, so let's look at the the videos on this uh, YouTube. Um. So, okay, do you want to choose one for me? Yes. Uh, I think the babysitter. The babysitter. Okay. Uh, uh, the the Hollywood, I think, is interesting. Oh, the Hollywood? Yeah. Okay, Hollywood. All right. The Hollywood. Right, okay, so we'll play this one and then we'll um, finish off our document. So, 
the Hollywood. The Hollywood. We went to this cafe and I had loads to eat. I had cod and chips. The cod was huge and there were hundreds of chips. Hundreds and hundreds of them. And I ate the lot. Then Mum said, anyone want any afters? And we looked to see what there was. There was apple pie. Don't like that. There was jam roly-poly. Don't like that. And there was ice cream. I like that. There was chocolate, strawberry and vanilla. I was just about to say, I'll have a strawberry ice cream. And I saw something else. It said, the Hollywood. And it was vanilla ice cream, peaches, cream, chocolate sauce, cherries, trifle, jelly, and strawberry ice cream. So I said, eh, I'll have a Hollywood. Dad said, he won't eat it. They're huge. But Mum said, no, no, if he wants it, he can have it. Dad said, waste of money. He won't eat it. Mum said, a Hollywood, please. And we waited. Then, suddenly, it appeared on its own right in the middle of a tray with a little paper umbrella stuck in the top. Everyone in the cafe looked round. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the Hollywood. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the Hollywood, all right. And the woman put it down in front of me. The Hollywood with a little paper umbrella stuck in the top. It was huge. It was taller than me. And I had this really long spoon to eat it with. And now, no. Everyone was looking at me. I had to reach up to get to the cherry on the top. Got it. Oh, in the mouth. It was lovely. Then onto the ice cream. <clears throat> and the chocolate sauce. <laughs> Dig in. That was uh, a bit rich, but okay. <laughs> Dad loves ice cream and chocolate sauce. And he's watching me. But I don't give him any. Then there was some... Um, jelly stuff and actually um, that wasn't very nice uh, actually um, it was horrible and dad said slowing down are you and mum said leave him alone now I was filling my cheeks so as not to taste it so much my hands went hot and people were looking at me then I got to the trifle soggy cake and that was even more horrible I couldn't bear to put it in my mouth I couldn't even put it in my cheeks I hunched my shoulders and poof, spat some onto my plate I stopped eating dad said stopped have you mum said leave him alone I said I don't like it very much dad's hand darted across the table I'll finish it he said oh yeah you bet he said that I'll finish it he says and mum turned to me and said Never mind, dear. I don't suppose you'll ask for one of those again, will you? I don't suppose I will. There. <laughs> okay. So... What exactly is the oh. sandbox, then? It's a 3D metaverse. The building blocks... So the Hollywood... Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who here likes ice cream and jelly and... Um... Chocolate... Do we have it? Who, what's your favourite dessert? Is it ice cream? Or uh, chocolate? Cake? What do you like to have for dessert? Hmm? Tina? I like chocolate. Yep, chocolate. Do you, uh, chocolate cake or chocolate bar? Uh, chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Okay, so we do right. We'll have to move on then. Um, we're going to final. Uh, we're going to uh wrap up the lesson by looking at our document that I was sent that Jenny sent me. So um, we can do more of the poems. We'll do more maybe um uh, in the next lesson, but I need to get this document. I'm te teaching a lesson. Um, let me just get this. So aha, here it is here. All right, so I'm just going to share the screen and then we're going to try to finish this off. Um, okay, so...
Can you see the screen share? Tina? Yes. Okay. I'm just doing it. I'm just going to do it like this because it's easier. Where do we get to? We, we've, I think we've near enough finished this. Um, we looked at the homes. We looked at the grammar. Um, what else did we have? Did we not do? Um, so let me see. Okay, actually, we can look at these sentences here. So, Tina, see at the start. What do you do? see at the side here? You can see one to six. Could you? Okay, so quite, number one, you can stay in or at my house. The first one's been done for us. It's at. What about question? What about number two, Tina? Is it we're staying at or in different rooms? We're staying in different rooms. Yep, we're staying in different rooms. Number three, Angela. No. Angela? My bedroom is the best room in the house. Yep. Uh, and um, uh, spring, number four? Oh, it's the living room on the second floor. Okay, and number five, Tina? Number five? Um, um, I have some photos on the wall. Good. And number six, Angela. Also, I have a big window on the left of my bed. Yep, well done. Okay, you got them all right. Well done. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so now you're going to talk. You're going to work in pairs now. So, well, we'll work in a group. Okay. I want you all to talk about your house and describe each room. And what is in it? So Tina and um, Tina and Angela, could you ask each other about your house and describe what is in each room? Okay. So Tina, you can start the questioning, and Angela, you can do the answer. Okay, so you're you're asking Angela about her house and what is in each room. So you know your living room, your bedroom. Your bathroom, your you know, your dining room and kitchen. Okay. What is, what is your bedroom like? Uh, my bedroom is full of pink, and I really love my my adorable bed. It's make me feel comfortable and have a good dream in my bedroom. What is your kitchen like? What, Tina? Yeah. What is your kitchen like? Um, I I think it's normally it's not special. It's just I can cook in the kitchen and is have all thing I can I need for make to making food. How about you? Yep. Uh, what about your living room? Uh, my living room have so. Sofas and a broken TV. A broken TV. Yes, broken. Do Do you have Do you have an open fire, Tina? How do you keep the room warm? I don't have a broken fire. No, no, an open fire, not a broken fire. What? How do you keep the room warm? I close the window. Okay. Right, okay, so Spring and, thank you, so Spring and Ang um, um, Angela, ask Spring those questions as well. 
um, have your bedroom is let me see can you describe your bedroom oh it's uh it's painted yellow and that color my comfortable bed i like to sleep a lot <laughs> And a desk chair, so that I can study and my wardrobe or other office. Okay, did I hear you correctly, Aunt Spring? Did you say that you study in your bedroom? Yes. Okay. Yep. Good. Okay, so you passed that activity. Very good. Now let's see. Do 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 do. We've done these. We've done these. Um, sentences we've done we've done this there was just a few things that we needed to finish off right okay so the, remember there was an issue with the recording so what i'm going to do tina and angela could see that see where you see maria could you so could you just um put the word you think goes into the, sp the blank space okay so do you understand so who so Tina, you're going to be John and um Angela, you'll be Maria, okay? So John's Maria, where do you come from? Okay, so the first one's been done for us. So Angela, you do the next one, Maria. I'm from Vari. And finish it off. I'm from Vari is a small town in Greece near Athens. Mm hmm Okay, and Tina? Do you work or you are a student? Okay, and or are you a student? I am a student in a secondary school. No, I study. Oh. I, I study. Uh, I, I, I'm a study. I'm a student. I study in a secondary school in a town. Uh, what subjects do you study? All, all the usual ones like math and history, but this month we studied modern music too. It's really interesting. What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Well, I like listening to music at home in my room okay and i sometimes in my room and i sometimes go i sometimes going out with my with friends in the evening or at weekend okay well done um you got you did very well there um both of you so gold star for both of you um right we'll we'll finish off we'll finish off with just this last um activity okay so um there's one one to five okay and then we'll wrap everything up okay so one t or spring could you do number one for me so tell me which one's the correct one so the first one's been done for us we always have a party at my house on uh december the 31st okay so number two then spring in winter in winter there's only a few sunlight in this room and a, a little a little sunlight Yep, well done. And Tina, number three. Yep, and I'm waiting for my friend to phone me. And then Angela, number four. I occasionally, I occasionally do some of my homework. Um, in school. Okay, and then um, number five, Tina. I don't. Number five. I don't. I don't. I don't really watch television. I don't, or I don't. No, it'll be. I don't often. I don't often watch television. <laughs> 